it basically went, We've been waiting for so long, waiting to sing for you our senior song. We've been waiting for so long, we want to sing to, waiting to sing to you our great, uh-oh, we've been wait, uh-oh. And the guys would go, betcha by golly, and then the girls had their line. Germantown High School. Oh, we've been waiting <laughs> for so long. <laughs> like waiting that, right? to sing to you this old song. <laughs> Germantown <laughs> High School. Because we've been waiting for so long. Waiting to play for you. In 1972, the school district of Philadelphia opened Martin Luther King High School in West Oak Lane. Nearby Germantown High was overcrowded, prompting the district to use King as a second campus. As part of a unique experiment, kids from all over Northwest Philly attended King as freshmen and sophomores, then moved on to Germantown until graduation. We're like, wow, we got brand new school to go into, 72 I think it was brand new school to go into, and it was amazing. It was huge, like the ceiling was like way up there and the, the stairways were huge. Their experiment with us was to give us two years in King and then two years in Germantown. So somehow they thought we would blend together and we would let down on the rivalries, the community, the neighborhood um, rivalries. I remember, I remember the gang war and Don, I didn't forget that. Um, I remember being, I was from Dogtown. Um, my boyfriend was from Haines Street. I loved that school. That school was a transitioning point for my life. That school saved my life. So the question everybody used to ask you was, where are you from? And when they asked that question, it was simply because they wanted to know who are you hanging out with. And a lot of times I would say to them, I'm from nowhere. I'm from West Philly. And that wasn't good enough because then you got beat up. Okay? And then some guys, just to be funny, would say, well, nowhere must be a big corner because a lot of people say they're from nowhere. You know, so you got beat up for that. So, you know, I just had to handle my own. It seemed to have worked for a minute. During the class of 1975 sophomore year, 15 students from four gangs brawled in the cafeteria. Three students were stabbed. I think with the, the original students, there was a, a degree of um, letdown. Because when we, when we came to the school, it was just a beautiful place to be. It was a, it was a sanctuary. The streets. Crossing Stinton Avenue could be dangerous, <laughs> okay, if you didn't watch where you were going. Um, so it wasn't just inside, it was outside. It was in the halls. It was, it was everywhere. As soon as you started feeling at home, they started saying, you're, you're going to Germantown next year for 11th and 12th grade. And it's like, whoa. Is that what this thing really means? The student body just, we were going to take over. Yeah, that was it. That school board didn't, it was not going to deny us, you know. Especially after we showed how organized we were and how much we wanted it and how much passion we had. But um, they wanted to find out how this experiment was going to work, so they, they weren't listening to us. Many of the students who had been fighting to remain at King resign themselves to moving to Germantown. I saw myself graduating from high school for the first time, um, literally being proud of the fact that I was competing in my classrooms. I got to walk in um, second because I played in the orchestra. So I had my viola and I got to walk in with the guy that I thought was the hottest guy in our class. <laughs> okay. He played trumpet for um, Harold Melvin in the Blue Notes. I don't know where Artie is today, but baby, hi. <laughs> they decided we were going to be the only ones. Um, by that time, we fully um, understood the passion that the current King students had for remaining at King because 
while it wasn't as bad as we thought coming to leaving King and, and going to Germantown, there was still a, you know, a pulling up the roots. It wasn't like you kind of clipped it a little bit. No, you just yanked us up, irregardless of how you looked at it, and transplanted us um, to another building. And it wasn't a great feeling. In 2012, the school district recommended the closure of Germantown High due to low enrollment and an aging facility. Many in the community believe that bringing the schools back together will result in more violence. Over the years, now we're talking 30 years now, there's definitely been a division and it's always been Germantown against King. So putting them together now is going to be kind of cultural sh a shock for, for these kids to be together that way because they've been indoctrinated to Germantown and King, but you have to do what you have to do. I would like to see Germantown stay open in the worst way. For kids to leave Germantown High School and go to King is only going to increase the violence in that area. Um, being a lieutenant in the Philadelphia Fire Department up in Chestnut Hill, often uh, I have two bike police on my station from the 14th District, which is in the heart of Germantown, right off of Germantown Avenue. And they already said that they expect increased violent activity to occur. And we know that because the kids don't like each other. They don't like to socialize with each other. Um, the kids up in this area tend to think, oh, we're better than the kids down closer to Germantown Avenue. Um, if closing Germantown High School is seriously going to make the Philadelphia school system a better system, then by all means close Germantown High School. We're, we're Philadelphia. We're a city of neighborhoods. We're raised, you stay in this neighborhood. You don't venture too far out. You go to your aunts, you go to your grandmoms, you know, you go to church, but you don't go to neighborhoods you're not familiar with because things happen. And if we could get rid of that mindset in the whole city, then, then maybe this, this kind of thing could work um, as we tried to make it work in the 70s. Because we've been waiting for so long. Waiting to play for you some of our songs. We've been waiting for so long. We want to play for you some of our songs. Cause we've been waiting.